My dad's coming. I asked him What do you think him. is a family? You're closing the deal without me. Oh, well, that's gonna have fun. I love the movies by director Hirokaz Goreda. His filmography contains already 13 non documentary movies. And do not be surprised, all his movies deal with just one thing family. In Like Father, Like Son, the question is about parenthood. Who is the true father of a child? One father gave you birth. The other raised you and spent time with you. In Our Little Sister, the question is about engaging a new member into the family. When the father of three girls died, they come to know about a half-sister whom they never heard of before. This little sister is mature than the other three daughters of the father. Living together, they come to build a bond even stronger than a family that lived all alone together. His most recent film, Shop Lifters, asks the question more directly. What is family? This group of people eat, sleep, and pray together. They support each other. They live under the same roof. But none of them share any blood relation with each other. This film got the grand prize at Cannes Film Festival. Hi, this is Heimer. Today's pick for KMD is Family Ties. Frankly, none of the actors in this film can be called a movie star. However, their orchestral harmony is simply phenomenal. Family is a popular theme for movies around the world. For example, the primary theme of such movies as The Host and a single rider is family. But this movie deals with the theme more directly. I think this one, among all Korean movies, is more comparable to Hirokazu Goraeda's movie than any other. Let's find out what's so unique about this movie. This movie is broken into three distinctive parts. Part 1 Mira is living alone, running a small restaurant. One day, her brother, Hyeongchul, appears in front of her after many years of absence. Hyeongchul brought with him his newly wed wife, Bu Shin. On top of that, Bu Shin is 20 years older than Hyeongchul. The three live together, and everyone gets stressed. Then another day, this time a little child arrives at the house. This child is Mushin's stepdaughter. That means she is the daughter of Mushin's ex-husband. After some time, Hyeongchul cannot stand the tension in the air and leaves the house. Now, three women who share absolutely no blood tie live together. This scene is a little bit long, but I'm sure you will love it. Part 2. Son Gyeong is a Korean woman who dreams of moving to Japan. Her mother lives alone. Son Gyeong cannot stand the mother's unreasonable optimism about life. To make matters worse, her mother is having an affair with a married man.
One day, she infiltrates into the house of the married man and asks us, Do you love my mother? Surprisingly, he replies in front of his own family. Yes, I do love her. I'm serious. Later, her mother dies of cancer. Sun Kyung had to take care of her half brother, still young. She gives up the hope. of moving to Japan. Part 3 oh, Chai Hyun is a lively young college student. She is so damn altruistic that she cannot pass by a human being in need, be it a girl, a child, or even a man old enough to date her. Her boyfriend, Kyung Seok, is jealous of other people who share Chae Hyun's altruistic love. Kyung Seok finally loses his temper. Chae Hyun was helping a child and spent the whole day with the child's father. After one sided quarrel, Kyung Seok visits Chae Hyun's house. Chae Hyun was the child who came to live with the two older women, Mira and Mu Shin, from part one. Kyung Seok was the boy who came to live with Sun Kyung from part two. What do you think? Do you expect the birth of a lovely and dynamic family? The Korean title for this movie is The Birth of a Family. Thank you for watching. This was Haimo with KMD. KMD does not demand subscriptions or thumbs up from viewers. KMD begs for them. Please help this shabby channel. Please show some mercy. What do I beg for? This and this. Thank you.